The total American eclipse is exactly one week from today, and a large part of North America will see day turn into night. And that includes a large stretch across Texas. Now, if you want to watch, it's important to know how to view the eclipse safely. Joining us now is Alex Lockwood, Eclipse Management Lead for NASA. Good afternoon, Alex. Good afternoon. Well, how do you view the eclipse safely? What kind of glasses should people be using? Yes, so that's a very good question. And the answer is not sunglasses. Now it is safe to look at the sun if you are in the path of totality for a few minutes of totality. But everywhere else uh, that's not in the path of totality and before and after those few minutes, you need ISO certified glasses that are being shown here. They have a special filter on them that makes it safe to look at the sun. And then you can actually see the moon crossing in front of the sun covering it and you can witness the entire eclipse with proper eye protection. Now, if you don't have glasses, is there any other way to view this eclipse safely? There definitely is. You don't need glasses. You probably have made spaghetti and have a colander in your kitchen. Go get that colander, take it outside. The little holes in the colander will act as mini pinhole projectors and they will take light from the sun and project it onto the ground in such a way that you can see the eclipse happening on the ground using just a colander. Very cool. Now, what should people expect here in Houston? We won't be in totality. Is there any time people can just take their glasses off? No, if you are not in totality, do not take your glasses off. You can still use a pinhole projector and you'll see the moon shadow covering the sun over those few hours of the eclipse. Um, but if you wanna look at the sun, you must have your glasses on and you will see what looks like, it's gonna look like a crescent moon, but it's actually gonna be the sun because the moon is gonna be covering most of the sun. You guys are gonna get uh, a very high percentage of, of, of a partial eclipse and it's probably gonna get a bit darker. It's gonna feel a bit cooler, but you're not gonna experience that total darkness unless you're in the path of totality. Very, very cool. We're all looking forward to it. Alex Lockwood with NASA, thank you so much.